So I just wanted to show you this uh, technique and, and I, I'm going to flip this over. This is a, uh, you know, one of those self stick sticker things if you want to return an item and this one happens to be from the Indigo Chapters bookstore. And I just put a bunch of paint on it. Uh, I, tr I tried it on this side and I was very happy. So I'm trying it again. And um, this is, I'm just going to lay it down on my glass mat just to smush it a bit more. And uh, yeah, I could still use a bit more spread on that, I think. So I'm going to put some. I'm going to put some um, uh, glazing medium on it. I'll try it again. Oh, my nose is itchy. And then I'll stop. And I'm going to lay it down on the page. And I'm just using it like a gel plate, um, you know, like a small gel plate. So, let's see what we come up with. Uh, it's not as nice as the other one. Maybe I don't have enough paint on it. That possible? I'm usually got so much paint on things that they're all mushy. See what happens when we do this. Oh, and look at that, the sticker came up. Okay. Note to self. One of these sides works and the other doesn't. Okay, well, you know what? We were after texture and interest anyway. So what the hell, huh? So right now I'm going to just leave that and uh, see what I do with it afterwards. I th think this little piece of um, um, uh, dryer sheet with napkin on it might work well on this, on top of this. It might, yeah, might, probably would. Anyway, um, and we'll see what I do with this. And, uh, Right now I need to let it dry though, and I'll, I think I'll probably try and pick up some more of this stuff with the jelly print, uh, jelly, no, jelly, I've got jelly printing on my brain, um, deli print, jelly and deli, at least it rhymed. So get as much of the paint off the glass as I can. It, that one's kind of nice. Look at that. I see a rose. You see a rose? Got to get this brush in the water before it dries hard as rock. Okay, I think that's it for now, and um, I'll come back when this is okay. So I I, um, I removed the the this I let this dry. I removed it. Well, it's not quite dry, but and I um, um, removed it from the 
sticky back. So it's, it's, it's an actual sticker. Stick, stick, stick. Ooh, I got paint everywhere. Look on my glove. No, no, no. God, when am I going to learn? Do put the other gloves on. The plastic gloves. Hmm? I don't know. You guys need to remind me. Put those gloves on, Laura. Okay, so I'm just laying this down here. I'd like to have this gold down here. I'm not thinking about it a whole lot. I'm thinking, oh, I like this piece. Oh, I don't like this piece. Let's save this. Let's not save this. You know, I'm not thinking too hard about this. And uh, this I I actually um, drew on. Um, I and I'm gonna uh, cut it out. I may use it on this other page, which I did basically by the same process. You know, I put paint on it and then I, because I had paint um, that I would finish this page with, I, I um, used it here and then I peeled it up. I love this, you know, kind of, um, it looks like dry brush work, but it's just print. And uh, I'm going to put this, uh, I used uh, Gina Aaron's um, new drawing tool. Uh, guys, if you haven't seen this, you might, uh, this might be something you want to add to your arsenal. This is a, um, the, can you, can you see that? It's the, it's the three piece set of the, of the yin yang symbol or you know paisley or whatever you want a teardroppy look to it and it's um uh and i drew around it the smallest one here and i'm going to uh cut it and uh and then I, i'm going to add it to my to this page so I've got an enormous amount of use out of that one page uh, of uh, uh, you know it's a return label uh, you know that you get in a in a <coughs> a shipping thing you know you get online shipping and then they send you uh, a label to return it if you if you need to um, you know I've been I've been throwing these things out silly me and uh, you know but I, I really like the look of this so and I think because it's um, essentially paper that you're uh, working on you um you don't get the same um contact as you do with a gel plate so because the paint is partially absorbed by the paper um you know you get this dry brush look which i really i really like i really like that look um and here too you know the where it's absorbed into the uh, surface you're using to print and where it hasn't you um you get a different you get a very different um print um marks than you would if you were okay now what did i do with my pieces okay here they are so I don't know. I haven't decided how this is going to work exactly. Not that it 
matters. So this is kind of how I work, guys. So I I put this down here. I got excited about it. I said, oh, well, I better, I'm going to film that. So, um, but I had already done this on the back, so on that side. So I put the paint on the other side, turned the camera on, showed you how I did it. Then you see these bits and pieces go on. I might add this, but I don't think so. I think not. Um, we'll see. I have no idea what I'm doing now. But then I went back to doing this. And, and neither one of these pages is finished. And um, I think this one is finished. But I'm not sure. Yeah. So for me... This, this was the original piece was a piece of deli paper that had gold and, and a dark blue on it. And I had this um, small print of a, um, a an, um, an altered photograph of my face that had similar color range in it. So I thought, oh, okay, I'll stick that on there. And um, it, it just, it goes like that for me. So I get a, it's, it's, it's literally like a chain. So here I have this print that I made um, for with that uh, return label sticker. And, and I thought, oh, I, that's worked great. And I, now I use the sticker. That's the link that takes it to a different set of colors. That, um, I think it needs more of that blue. What do you say, guys? Anyway, so, you know, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I might finish this. I might not. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Okay, but that's it for now. So you watch me uh, uh, mess around with this page. You can see it's got some lovely um, gold uh, pieces on it. Can you see that? Oh, it's so nice. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I talked to you already about how I did that. That was, uh, for me, that was yesterday. For you, it's been like a split second. And um, I'm going to add some more of this blue. For some reason, blue stains brushes. I don't know why that is. But it does. So uh, I'm looking in a palette here. And I am, uh, this is um, something called Bachelor Button Blue. It's one of these uh, powdered pigment thingies. And they are water soluble. So I'm not too um, concerned about. I'm just going to have some fun watching how it reacts on different surfaces and how quickly you can see how quickly it sinks in here so you can actually see the the, the layers that you've put on I you know I kind of like that I'm not uh, you know at, at least with this I'm not interested in, you know, maybe I'm going to put some wax paper under there. If you, if I, you know, run right up to the edge, which, you know, it's easy to do. Um, I don't really want it to go onto the other side of the paper. Some people are really free about that. I, I, you know, I want the marks that I put on the paper to be intentional. I don't mind if they're wild, you know, um, but, you know, I don't want um, blue on there because it leaked through. Or maybe that's an odd distinction. I don't know. Maybe it is an odd distinction. Um, but to me, it seems meaningful. Don't 
like this harsh line here. So let's see if we can make that a little more organic. Now, I thought about putting a face in here, but you know, it wouldn't be that hard to do. But I don't know. I just don't know. So right now, I'm going to leave it. Um, I do have quite a bit of that left. And uh, I think I might uh, put some on some other pages. Just so I have a start on something else. I'm hoping to get the this page filmed and finished. You know, oh look what I did there. That's just off my hands. Yep. I don't know, maybe I'll do that. And just see where it goes. What do you say? Now, I'm not one for splatters, but given that it's already splattered. I say. And of course I got some here. Now I'm curious about something. <gasps> Look at that. It's gone through. Can you see that? It's very faint, but it's gone through. And I don't like that. And look, I got it on some other pages. <gasps> I don't like this. <laughs> You're annoying. Okay. Everything is fixable. Everything is, you know, there's always a way around things, right? You can just put a big collage thing over that. All right. This is one of the reasons these things are in the don't use very often box. <sighs> oh well. Silly, huh? What do you say? It's dry enough to work on. using red in there we're we gonna use red in there I don't know what we're doing give me a big black I do have a gray but I think the gray is very Hey, so um, I did, the camera quit unexpectedly. I'm not sure why. Can you see that? Come on, camera, focus.
there. So I added some black in there so you got some face. Um, uh, I don't know how much more I'm going to add to this or where I'm going. I think it probably needs a little more contrast. So I might, uh, I might, uh, yeah, get out my watercolors and add a little bit more. Uh, but now that it's, uh, that, that's, I, I drew in the black while I, the camera was off, which I didn't realize till I looked up again. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know what I'm doing now. I think it needs a little more contrast. We'll see. My, my, f Well, you know, that's not what I want at all. Yeah, I think that's what I want. mess here. Oh, I see what's happened. Okay. No. Okay. Well, you know, I kind of like that.
Okay, so I think uh, I have a word to put on here. Uh, it's the French uh, word destinaire, means delivered, you know, where it's going. Where is it going? It's going here. You know, coming, coming out of something, going somewhere. Uh, yeah? No? Who knows? Anyway, um, but I don't think I'll add that in right this second. I have no idea what I'm doing with those sad pages that got splattered. Okay, I think I'll add these cutouts to this page. But I th need to add them with the glazing, not the glazing medium, because it leaves a nice soft um, glossy finish, and you don't lose the metallics when you when you use this one. Okay, you can use the um, uh, what you call it. But it's, um, you know, not the matte, the glossy finish. But it, it then, you know, the, it, to me it's too glossy then. But, you know, maybe I'm just fussy. Okay. Uh, I have no idea how this will stick. Because it's uh, the, you know, the non-stick surface of the label. So I'm assuming. Oh, yeah? Um, what? Oh, okay. Second dog heard from. What? What? Come on. Yeah, not sticking very well, actually. At least not yet. Interesting. 